Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Great, thanks. What's up, everybody? What's going on? How we doing? What's up, bro? What's up, Danny? Long time no see, man. Glad you're still alive. Yeah, bro. Of course. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday. What's happening? I, I, I got too much sauce. That's why it be dripping out. So the way this works for anybody who's just joining first call, it's definitely not like a teacher student setting. It's more of an open forum where we have discussions about uh, what you should be doing to grow your Amazon business. If you have any questions and there's a minute or two where nobody's talking, you just unmute yourself. If you're uncomfortable asking the question, with your camera on or with your voice, you can always post the question in the chat. And if you send the question to myself or Sebastian, who's on here as well, um, he's the other Amazon lit host, um, through a private message, we will not say your name when we ask the question. Um, we will just ask it anonymously. I don't like to be disrespectful. Um, and so I do apologize uh, for that. Yeah, I was traumatized. Now I feel better. <laughs> well, I just, yeah, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get up. And so I was doing some cursing and, and so on. So I, I do apologize for anybody who did hear that. Nobody fucking cursing here. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Dan, Dan, that hurt Danny's virgin ears. I, I was just about to say, oh, man, my, my darn damn virgin ears. We're good here. I was going to uh, say, we all we all either work in here in warehouses or aspire to work in warehouses. I don't think any of us are delicate, so we're good. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's slide over to Delima. We had an amazing call, you and your husband. I forgot your husband's name, but yeah, I was. it literally made my whole night. So I'm excited to have you here. And please just introduce yourself. Let us know who you are. Thank you. It was great. Uh, his name's Kurt. He he thinks the world of uh, of you. He loved the call as well. So my name's Delima. I actually had started. I've been doing reselling part time. I we're a blended family, so I, we have five kids, um, which means we always have kids growing out of clothes. So I had started casually selling stuff on Poshmark and stuff like that. A friend of mine was a big reseller on Poshmark. Um, so towards the end of last year, I decided to get into it full time and started doing it full time. But I realized really, really quickly that it is just, it's not scalable, at least not scalable the way I think a business should be scalable. And, and I think the reselling model, no hate. I've got a lot of love for it. I still do it while I'm building this up. But you know, the big resellers, they are making $100,000 a year. Yeah. I, you know, so I, I thought, well, this is this is not going to be a scalable model. I need to shift. I need to change, you know, pivot. It's time to it's time to get out. And uh, so that's why I'm like, you know, we need to we need to think bigger. Um, and Amazon is definitely bigger, but it's you know, it, it's something it's a completely different industry to learn. Reselling, there's a very low barrier of entry. It's a very small learning curve. Amazon is a very large learning curve, but you know, it's a lot bigger rewards. So I already have a VA and I have another I guess you could say she be she was a VA. She was taking pictures and packaging and stuff like that. And she's now studying abroad, but still working virtually for me. So I have like two, one full-time VA and one part-time VA. And so I'm trying to refocus them on helping me with the back end of doing research for manufacturers, distributors, things like that, compiling the information so that I can just start going at it. I think I told you, that, Eric, that I, I did a course. It wasn't bad, but it was very rudimentary. And so, you know, my husband and I, my husband's an entrepreneur, he owns two businesses. And he was like, if that didn't give you what you needed, then you need to find the coaches that are going to. Yes. Um, and I had seen a bunch of your Instagram posts and I liked what you guys are doing and I liked what you guys were saying. And I thought, you know, I, I think this is this is the right group for me. Um, and that was why I decided to get on the call with you. And, and just talking with you sold me that this was where I needed to be. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna 10 exit or 100 exit otherwise. If, if I don't get guidance from professionals who are doing it, who are coaching people, and that's what I need. I'm, I'm just somebody who needs a roadmap. You give me a roadmap, I'm gonna do it. We got the roadmap for you, Delima. <laughs> We got the roadmap. So oh, I'm, from, um, I'm from New York, but I live in Jersey now. 
though. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, you're over in, in Central Jersey. I was just down there this weekend. So let me just get this straight. I remember from our call, so you're just getting your Amazon side of your reselling career is just getting started, correct? Yeah. So when I first signed up for Amazon, I thought like a lot of people think that I would do RA and I realized real quick, again, one, that's a lot harder to scale as well because it's it's kind of the same thing, right? It's a one-off a lot of times, although it's less work than reselling because the listings are already created for you, but you're putting so much work into finding maybe five of an item as opposed to finding 5,000 of an item. So that was one. And two, I walked into a buzzsaw inside of two days because I didn't properly educate myself and sold on a listing I should not have been selling on and got my account shut down. And it took me two months and it took me Eat Sleep Amazon to get my account back up and running. So I thought, you know, this isn't this isn't the way I want to go. And that's why I pivoted to wholesale. That was enough to scare me into into being like, hey, I need to take a step back awesome. before I can take 10 steps forward. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Well, we're excited to have you on the team here. I got Thank one you. more question for you. Um, what's your, just hit me with a goal, a number that you'd like to do in the next 12 months of gross sales revenue. Gross sales. Um, next 12, uh, 12 months. I'm going to say 1.5 million. Awesome. I love it. I'm going to say 1.5 million. All right, uh, where do you guys find those 250 suppliers a week? I'm struggling to find 50. So the number was 50, it's 50 a week. So I would encourage you to find 50 a week and they're all suppliers that buy from suppliers. So you're getting the middleman, right? Or the middle woman, you just gotta keep digging. I would encourage you dive into module four, module five, follow those step-by-step -step exactly what we tell you to do and then report back to us next week. I, I guarantee you, you, you'll have a much more comprehensive list. And then by week two, Two weeks from tonight, you're gonna to come back and you're gonna be like, I finally started opening some accounts with some wholesalers. All right? Yeah, all right, thank you. I got I'm it. still struggling. I mean, at the beginning, you guys are way in another planet. <laughs> Yeah, listen, you'll get the hang of it soon. And in a couple of weeks, this will all be making sense, right? But I'm so glad to anybody who's who's just joining. I'm glad you're staying for the full call, you know, not getting overwhelmed because this could sound very advanced, right? But like everybody was on their first call one day. You know, everybody knew a little bit about something on Amazon until they began to grow and build on that. So it's progressive. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not going to happen in the first call. But, you know, by week three, week four, you'll be understanding a lot more what people are talking about, especially when if you haven't yet, when you start diving deeper into the course content, because that's where a lot of the magic happens. And another thing, Roxana, uh, reach out to people that are in this group in Europe, because we are here because we want to help and we want to spread the love. So unfortunately, I cannot help you because you're in Europe, but other people here are, are in Europe and just, you know, just get in touch with them and they help you little by little and then, you know, make you step over the hurdles that we all went through before. Actually, you can help me because I I have an account on the US <laughs> not okay. in Europe I'm not okay. selling here in UK so I need all the help you can get me yeah but <laughs> there's you there's everything <laughs> there's US sellers that are in our program that are based in the UK that are based in Romania uh, Romania that are based Italy. in Italy Stefanos who's crushing it there's just there's a lot there's people from Australia I mean you name it they're you know all different parts and locations and they're crushing it and you know you say we're leaps and bounds ahead but every single struggle people talk about in here I can relate to you know I don't go about it I don't think about it but we were doing hundreds of thousands out of a basement literally four or five times going to retail arbitrage stores in one day loading up a van going back you know I first warehouse didn't even have a bathroom in it I had to walk to another building and I'm in New Jersey so when it's 10 degrees outside walk to that building and that building didn't have heat in it and neither We're did bathroom. the first location and so when Eric talked about the how do you stick your products with gloves I was in my head thinking man I remember doing that I remember doing that because your hands are hurting because right? you're there 11 o'clock at night it's 10 degrees outside and in, inside the building it's 18 degrees it's so it's only a little bit warmer but you do it because you know we all have these hopes aspirations and dreams to to better ourselves so just because you see us up here I was right where you were exactly where you were like how the hell am I gonna figure this out except there was no guidance back then 
there was no guidance. And the good thing is that you're in the right place. You are where you're supposed to be. You know, you're not gonna run into dead ends because me or Sebastian or whoever is in Europe can point you to the right place to fix the problem that you're gonna go through. So you're in good hands. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hopefully. Absolutely. And you are. There's For no sure. hope. The only people I've seen that don't succeed are the ones that quit. That's it. Nobody will tell you anything here in this group that's gonna take you to the wrong place and make you not succeed. I mean, it's pointless, you know? Yeah, I know, I know. I haven't quit yet. Yeah. Good, don't. Awesome. Don't, awesome. don't make it an option. Don't let it even be an option. Take the yet part out of your vocabulary. Just reach out to people. Don't be shy and no, oh, I don't wanna ask. I don't wanna sound like I'm new and I don't know anything about it because I don't know. And just, just talk to people and you know, if he can help you, he'll take you to another person and then that person will help you. And Sebastian and, and Eric are really uh, knowledgeable about everything and then you'll make it. In six months from now, you're gonna be like, a major badass making money on Amazon. That's for sure. Awesome. Awesome. Great, great call. Another great call. Appreciate all of you. Yeah, absolutely. So if you got any questions, hit us in the Facebook group and uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hi, doll. All right. Bye. Have a good evening. Yeah. Good night. I'll see you at the top. Good night, night. everyone. Hey, let's.